Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today I'm giving you an update on the external server battery bank that I have connected to my Delta Pro system. Let's get into it. So as you can see, pretty much everything is still set up exactly as before. I've still got my, here I'll go over, I've got two of the external 48 volt batteries connected to the AC to DC power supply that flows into the Delta Pro unit underneath. And it's been running for close to two months, every single day, works flawlessly. It kicks on when it's got enough juice from these batteries to power the Delta Pro. And then of course it shuts off when it, when it runs out. Flawless. All right, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I wanted to do at least a quick update and check back in on how my uh, external 48 volt battery bank was doing powering the Delta Pro. And um, I'm pleased to say that it's, it's worked really, really well. Uh, I've been running it for a couple months. Every day it kicks on when it's got the power, starts feeding into the Delta Pro, kicks off when it, it either is topped off, or the Delta Pro is topped off, or you know maybe we run out of sun, uh, solar power or even the external battery bank might get tapped out. But it just works. I haven't had to intervene. I haven't had to do anything on a daily basis. It's just ran every single day for again, I think close to two months. So on that standpoint, fantastic. That said, obviously uh, I need to take it to the next step. What I've got is not, um, it was kind of more of a proof of concept really was what it was. I've got a five kilowatt hour, uh, 48 volt external battery bank connected to the Delta Pro, which is powering it up and, and that's working. But to really make this more useful for me, I needed to provide a lot more solar power and probably eventually I need to add more to that external battery bank as well. So I had started on the first part of that and I was hoping to do a video on how I, you know, I connected 5,000 watts of solar power to the EG4 controller and now that's flowing into the Delta Pro and how well that was working. That's what I wanted to do a video on, but I've run into some problems. Problems, you say? Yeah, problems. Unfortunately, so I had ordered 30, well, actually I'd ordered 60, 60 solar panels to be shipped by freight here to Iowa from the West Coast. <laughs> they made it to Iowa fine. They're in Des Moines actually right now. And the carrier, the local carrier says they can't deliver them. The pallet uh, underneath the, <laughs> the solar panels has apparently broken, disintegrated something. I, it's really hard to understand the whole details and they insist that they cannot deliver them. They can uh, get them on a forklift, but apparently they have no trucks capable of bringing them to my house because um, they only have pallet jacks that go on the trucks and they don't have a forklift or an inloader. Um, so they don't, I, I don't have, the short story is I don't have my panels and I really wanted them so I could make this video um, as well as upgrade a whole lot of other things. But that was the whole point. And I'm in this limbo state where my panels are being held hostage by the carrier company. They're not going to deliver them. Uh, they insist they can't deliver them, but they're not also really telling me what's going to happen. Like, am I going to get insurance on this? Um, you know, w what's going on? I don't know. And it's really frustrating. And, and uh, honestly, uh, I'm a lot calmer right now talking about it than I was when earlier this week, as I was trying to sort through this whole thing, I hope to have a positive update at some point, but right now it's just total limbo. Ugh. So at some point, I will have additional solar panels, I think, I hope, I cross my fingers. And I'll be sending through the EG4 controller. So I, um, my goal is to max it out at 5,000 watts of solar input. So it's flowing in, no problem, filling up this external battery bank, powering into the Delta Pro, and, you know, and again, with 5,000 watts of input, I don't care that there's a lot of waste, or there is some waste from converting from DC to AC to AC to DC. I don't. I don't care if I've got 5,000 watts coming in, that far exceeds the, the 1,500 watts or 1,600 watts that are flowing into the Delta Pro. So don't care about that. Um, understand it's not efficient. Talked about that. Of course it's not efficient. There's, um, I'd love to do it a, a better way, a DC to DC way. Haven't found a reliable, trustworthy way of doing that. So this is something that, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is at least reliable. 
it works every single day. I haven't had to intervene. I'm not worried about it, you know, blowing up. <laughs> the power supply stays very comfortable to the touch, not overtaxed. This is an appropriate sized um, power supply. Okay, here's the power supply. Uh, again, I, I think I mentioned in the last video, it stays very, very comfortably warm to the touch. It's, it's not even warm. I mean, it is lukewarm at best. And um, that's with 1500 watts and more flowing through it. It stays very good. I'm, I'm super pleased with this power supply. Some of you asked why I didn't use a different power supply. Um, you know, the 16 amp 90 volt one, I think it was. Well, I could have, sure, and, and you can as well, and that's fine. But I'll give you, I'll tell you a little secret. You can adjust the voltage out of these. There's a little screw by the input, I'll show it to you, and it uh, increases the voltage out, which means practically this little baby can essentially tap out the 1600 watts of the Delta Pro, um, and I'll show it to you in a second. As I mentioned I've got one, two uh, external 45 volt. Um, 50 amp hour batteries that I bought, uh, I think on Amazon, I'll have the link. Th together they're 100 amp hours or five, let's call it five kilowatt hours of extra capacity. The great thing is that I can just over time buy a few more of these, add them into the system and expand it out. They're, I don't remember exactly, somewhere around $600 a piece, maybe less if you can get a better deal. Um, so obviously adding those on is a lot cheaper than adding an external Delta Pro battery at $1,800. Now, I've talked about what you don't get when you go with a dumb battery like this, but the point is I can really expand this out as much as I want to and, um, you know, in smaller chunks and more affordable chunks now that I've made this whole, this whole ecosystem to feed into the Delta Pro. You can see currently um, definitely not getting a full uh, the full solar input of the EG4, I'm getting 800 and something watts, nothing crazy. And again, this is because I mostly have wired it up as a proof of concept. And I'm doing a completely separate video on this, but this, um, well, I call it a bus bar, but this is awesome. This is a really cool, uh, convenient way of connecting all your cables. Uh, that's just better than any bus bar that I try to use. Uh, definitely had some bad experiences along the way so i really like this i will do a separate video on this and explain more of what what i like about it all right that's going to do it for this video again i was hoping to have more to demo for you um and and hopefully that is forthcoming uh, my whole sad story with the shipping company notwithstanding i'll give updates on that but i did want to share an update and say that yes the the power supply is working it's working very reliably has been for several uh, weeks, months now, and um, very pleased with that. The whole concept works. Now all I'm trying to do is beef up the, the solar uh, input into my EG4 controller, and then after that, maybe add some additional battery capacity. So hopefully you're interested in it. If not, uh, maybe the next video is the one for you. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.